A number of factors increase your risk of getting cancer. Some of them you have no control over, like growing older or your family history, your DNA. But there are some risks you do have control over. It's probably the same old thing that we all hear all the time. Um, it's, it's don't smoke, don't use tobacco, um, eat a healthy diet, and try to exercise. Try to stay physically active as much as possible. Ultraviolet radiation from the sun can lead to skin cancer, so cover up when you go out and use at least a 15 SPF sunscreen, even on cloudy days. And yes, tanning booths and sun lamps are just as dangerous. We know radiation can cause cancer. Radon is a form of radiation, and Pennsylvania has a lot of it, so you might want to get your house tested. Painters, construction workers, and others working with cancer-causing chemicals are at higher risk. Even at home, you should be careful when you handle pesticides or solvents or even engine oil. Certain viruses can cause cancer. HPV, the main cause of cervical cancer, and hepatitis B, which can eventually lead to liver cancer. If you have a stomach ulcer, get it treated. And of course, don't have unprotected sex or share needles. Estrogen hormones given to women with menopausal symptoms may increase the risk of breast cancer. You should talk to your doctor about the risks and benefits. And alcohol, more than two drinks a day over many years, is a risk factor, and especially so for the drinker who smokes. It sounds simple, and most people have heard this already, but stopping smoking is probably the single most important factor that could really decrease cancer um, significantly. Probably there's different numbers, but probably a good 50% of cancers could be prevented by people stopping smoking.